So I, my table is right next to Larry's, and every once in a while, I hear the the voice. I want to hear the voice. I want to copy the voice. I always try to imitate okay, the voice. Right, let me, okay. let me hear first. the voice. Yeah. Sword of Omens, come to my hand. I, Lionel, command it. Well, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a short line. <laughs> Thundercats, ho! Thundercats, ho! Bingo. You <laughs> Bingo. got it. You nailed it. <laughs>
uh, on all the shows that I did. Uh, you mentioned that today with anime, uh, it, they usually record one person at a time, yeah. and I don't like it that way because, as you mentioned, I I like to relate to the other actors, react to them, they can react to me. It's mm -hmm. acting. Right? It's acting. Yeah. Acting and reacting. And yeah. uh, I'm not sure, do you know why they do it that way now? I don't know. I, I never think, really well, asked. part of it is such a technical thing as well because you have to grab script, look at the the screen so you can match flaps so it, part oh. of it is, is for technical reasons I, see. I believe well yeah. you see we didn't um, uh, we didn't we did the voices first yeah and then, then they, they animated to, to the, you. the voices yeah. so we didn't have to match lip sync we didn't have to worry you, about you know you matching just get what's to do on your the screen thing. Yeah. it must be hard to do because if you're trying to read the script and you're looking at the monitor to, mm -hmm. that, that, that's beyond it's, me yeah so you have to be <laughs> good at the technical side yeah. and the acting side yeah. but I love when I get to, well I love both but I love when I get to do the animation where you're all there yeah. with with a cast yeah are you interested in voice acting are you a professional actor or just interested in getting started in the industry elisecoaches.com is a great place to start with lessons I've been taking lessons with her for the last five or six months and in that time I've been able to find my voice find what I'm good at. If you guys are interested in getting started, go to www.elisecoaches.com. Well, let's talk about some other fantastic things that you have done. How cool is this? <laughs> You're Count Chocula. For 40 years. For 40 years. 40 years I've been the voice of Count Chocula. And wow. uh, also, if you want to pick up that oh, other yes. picture, Sunny the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, can we hear those? Yahoo! I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! I'm Cuckoo for Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay, Count Chocula. Well, Count Chocula is your basic uh, vampire. You know, Count Chocula cereal is coming your way. How about a monster for breakfast today? <laughs> I actually got to sing that in one commercial. <laughs> oh, that is so fantastic. Yeah, you don't, like, I, I can't believe you did, you have been the voice for 40 years. 40 years that yeah. is amazing. And what I found out too at dinner is you're the voice of Skittles. Yes, I'm yes. still doing Skittles after, I think, about 22 years of Skittles. Really? I'm the guy at the end of all the Skittles commercials that says, Feel the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Or <laughs> the first word changes. Every commercial, the rest of it's all the same. Oh, it's it's either it, like the newest one is uh, squish the rainbow, taste the rainbow, and that might be um, discover the rainbow, taste the rainbow. So I told them early on, I said, why don't you guys book me for an entire day, and we'll record every verb in the oh. English language, and I won't have to come in all the time. <laughs> but then of course I remembered that. You get session fees. You get session fees. That's right. So you're like, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back any, every day if you want. Yeah. Yes, every day. A different verb every day so that you get a session fee every day. There you go. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Okay. Well, I, I actually didn't know that. That's a good bit of trivia. So now I'm going to listen to those commercials in a totally different way. <laughs> hey, I'm Edgar Avalos. Are you interested in voice acting or trying to up your level? Elise teaches group and private sessions. Stuff that I learned with her has been the business of voice acting, as well as trying to convey emotions with voice acting. You can find out more at leastcoaches.com. So what's one of your favorite experiences as a voice actor? Put you on the spot, because you've yeah. been doing it for so long. Yeah, I've been, uh, yeah, most of my life. Yeah. Well, I'm 75 and I started when I was 15. Wow. So 60 years. Wow. Uh, so you started when you were 15. Yeah. So d did you just well, know at 15, like, boom, woke well, up and I want to be a voice actor? No. What I wanted to be, and I was at 15, was a radio disc jockey. That's how I got... Oh, at 15? At 15, yeah. Well, it was, it was two months before my 16th birthday, so I was 15. Yeah. You know. um, yeah, wow. in Peoria, Illinois. Mm -hmm. I'm from that, that area. And uh, I got a job uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a disc jockey, you know, playing the Beatles and... Uh, Wow. You know, all the hits of the day. Yeah. And um, I had always done, uh, I, I had always loved doing voices. My mom told me that, uh, she told me that the time I could talk, really, I'd run around the house mimicking cartoon oh, characters and, you did. and okay. doing impressions of famous people. So I kept doing that. And when I got the job on the radio, and I uh, incorporated the voices into my show. Oh. I would maybe play a record and then do a little comedy bit between somebody else, you know, maybe a cartoon character yeah. or, and the president or, or whatever. 
And then, of course, once I got to, um, to New York, 50 years ago, mm. uh, th those came in handy for things like these. Yes. The cartoon voices. Yes. And the serial voices. So it all kind of led that way. Well, that's cool to know because a lot of people do voices and mimic voices and then wonder, could that turn into anything? Could that turn into a voice acting career sure. or some other type of career? So that's good to know that's where you started. Yeah. Well, this is amazing. I love, we're going to get back to our tables and back to the yes. conventions, but I think we should say bye to Anime Adventures and one of your voices. Which one shall we do? Oh, let's see. Um... Squish anime adventures. Which one? <laughs> no. Which which one did I did I not do? Oh, which yeah? Which voice did we uh, not? Oh, we Blue did Grand. actually. We didn't even talk about this. This let's is uh, from a show the... called Silverhawks. Yeah, let's talk about Silverhawks before Silver we go. Silverhawks was done by the same company, Rankin Bass, that yeah. did Thundercats. Then we did another one after Silverhawks called uh, Tiger Shark. And then we did the same cast. Oh, it was the same, same cast. Same cast. We worked together for about six years doing all these different shows. Uh, and in fact, we also did. Um, uh, did three or four holiday animation specials for Rankin Best. Rankin Best got their start doing Rudolph the Red Nose. Well, I was gonna and, say I yeah. recognize, yeah. of course, yeah. them. So like. which, when we were kids, when I was a kid, I was watching, uh, you know, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer and Frosty the Snowman. Oh, I love them so much. Burl Ives, you know. So when I got this job, uh, it's quite a thrill for me because I grew up watching Rankin Best cartoons, and now I'm on. Real, that, you know? that had to be yeah. like a dream. It really was. I feel like yeah. everybody knows that. That Rudolph the Red Nose, oh, you know, yeah. Rankin oh, Bass, sure. Sure. because of those shows. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's uh, and this show, uh, this was in space. The Silverhawks were, um, uh, they were also, uh, Thundercats were half human and half animals. That's why it's Lion O, mm -hmm. Jackal Man, another one of my characters. He sounded like, um, we must get the Thundercats, yes, evil music, <laughs> I like the know? face. But this guy, his name is Bluegrass, mm -hmm. and as you can see, he has a guitar, and that was his uh, superpower. He could shoot these things out of there, you know, <laughs> and get awesome. the, the bad guys. And um, he, he, he talked like that, you know, he, he was, well, he was a, a cowboy, yeah. so, so he talked like this. And um, he was always saying, there was a character called a, a character called the Copper Kid, mm -hmm. who was really an animatron. He was uh, like a little robot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So several times a show, you'd hear this guy say, "Watch this, kid." <laughs> That's his, <laughs> his big line. Watch this, Watch kid. Watch this, kid. <laughs> Watch this, kid. And then he, he would teach him his, uh, a lesson every week. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, there, that's were, great. there were some uh, educational values, you know? I like that. Oh, these are fun. Well, I think we should say, let's do Count Chocula's voice. All right, bye. Maybe, what are we are going to say? Say bye to Anime Adventures. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. It's been wonderful, but now it's time to say goodbye to Anime Adventures. Goodbye. Bye. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs>